there is a Hispanic community, they're going to tune in to watch their champion because they embraced it. He's a, it's a lot on his shoulders, man. It's a lot riding on Kodo's shoulder. He didn't ask for it. That's what comes with the territory. When you get put in a position, voluntarily or involuntarily, you have to deliver, especially coming from the Latino community. They have high stakes, we all know. That's what makes this fight a great fight here at the Madison Square Garden. I, I wouldn't say that, couldn't be at a better place than Madison Square Garden. It will be a, a biased crowd at first. Oh, trust me. Any other nationality will be outnumbered five to one Makoto fight here. Same with Tito. But one thing about fans, for those, there's 90% of people in this arena right now, was there to witness the chants and the cheers round six and seven. Went from Tito to Hopkins. Because the fans, even though they are biased from the beginning, and they are loyal from the beginning, they understand when they witness most of them, greatness in the right in front of their eyes. They go from Tito, Tito to Hopkins. Just like that. So what I'm saying, I am 100% biased in this case. You're going to hear Kodo, 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 like you heard when Zab and Kodo was wrong. But I'm telling you, you remember the chant? Their name will start to change. It will change because of what they see, not what they're told. And that's where I believe that not only styles and other sound bites that others have said over the years, even myself, make fights, this is bigger than that. This ain't just a style win or lose fight. Trust me, it's not. This is all and above that's gonna be great for this fight. And who wins? Yeah, you got a winner and you got a loser. But at the end, the fans are boxing. The fans of boxing, the reporters get to write about, not a mismatch, they get to write about an even fight or a nod here and a nod there, but it's controversy on who's going to win. That's what boxing needs. In the years that we've been handling the promotional career of Miguel, we have developed him with that dream in mind. And his competition has continuously stepped up. He's performed brilliantly. And this test against the great Sugar Shane Mosley is the biggest test of his career. But if you're going to be considered the best pound for pound fighter and an all time great, you've got to fight and beat the best. You can't do it. We well, usually can't do it. I talk. You've got to beat the best. And that's what we've designed for Miguel's career. And I have a dream that two or three years from now, Miguel will be so considered the great fighter that he'll be invited to the White House in Washington and the president will greet him, and she will give him the award. <laughs>